Then this example, we're gonna be using Google Apps Script to select some of the content that's selected within the spreadsheet, adding a new item into the UI menu that allow us to copy content and create a new sheet out of it. So if you've got a spreadsheet, you want to copy the selection over into a new sheet. There's our new sheet that was just created with that content that was added in there. And so this is gonna work for any sheet that we have. So if we want to copy out this data, we had a lot of data within a spreadsheet and we just want to create a new copy of it. So there's our new sheet that was created and automatically it creates and just copies the data over within the same range. So that will work for any of the sheets that we currently have. And it'll just renaming as creating a new sheet by its name. So you can also customize this output as needed. So there's that copied data and it's being just dropped into the brand new spreadsheet. Hey, I've created a brand new spreadsheet, added in some data. We're gonna be adding a bound script so that when we select some values and we can create a brand new spreadsheet from those selected values. So go ahead and open up the script editor and that's under extensions apps script and that's going to open up the bound script editor and we're going to use a default function which is called on open and this function is going to run this block of code whenever the spreadsheet opens so we want to select the ui object and that's going to be added into a variable called ui selecting the spreadsheet app and then we get the ui object into an object format and that way we can reference it with ui so selecting that, and then from there we can create a menu. And this is gonna be the label for the menu, so it's expecting a string value, and I'm just gonna call it ADV. So that's gonna be what's showing up to the user. And then now we can go ahead and we can add items in, and we can have a number of functions. Uh, this one, we're just gonna call it copy, and then it's gonna be referencing a function called copy fun. So that's gonna be the function name. And this is also expecting string values. You can add other options here as well, other menu items. And once you're completed, then you add to the UI. So this is gonna add that item into the UI object. So we need to create a corresponding function called copy fun. And then of course, this is gonna be the function that's gonna run. We're gonna also output some content. So again, we're gonna select the UI object. So using the spreadsheet app, and then get the UI object. And then once we've got the UI, we can add alert, and this alert will just say that clicked so that we can see some type of action whenever that UI menu item is clicked. Once the spreadsheet reloads, there's the advanced menu. So now you can select that and you can click the copy and that's gonna run the script where we're having the alert showing up and that's where we've got the pop-up that says clicked. So now let's move on to the second part where we're gonna actually select some of the content that's within the spreadsheet. So whatever the active spreadsheet, if we've got some content selected, we wanna select that block of content from the spreadsheet. So we'll create a function, we'll call it copy me. And what this one is gonna do is it's gonna copy that spreadsheet content. So we need to first select whatever the active spreadsheet object is, and we'll select that within the SS, so the spreadsheet object and using the spreadsheet app service, we get the active spreadsheet and that's gonna return back the spreadsheet object. And then we want to second, we wanna select the sheet. So we give it a name of sheet and then here we can select the active sheet. So get active and that's gonna select whatever the active sheet currently is. And then once we've selected the active sheet, we wanna select the range. So we'll create another variable, call it range and this is where we're going to be selecting from the sheet object and using the get active range value. So it's going to select a range from our sheet. And in order to get the values from the range and using the selected range, we then use the function called get values. And this is going to return back the values. And here we can select the UI object as well. And then we can output whatever we've currently have for the values because it's going to be output within an array format. And then update the copy me to the copy fun. We're not going to need this function anymore. And now go about back out to the spreadsheet, select the advanced and copy. And this is going to be selecting whatever content we've got selected. So that way you can see what you've got selected. And now when we wanna use that data and copy it over into a new, new spreadsheet, then we've got it selected within an array format. And this way we can select it and we can copy it. Create my sheet function. And within here, we want to select and pass the data over from the other function. So instead of outputting into the alert, 
we're going to pass it in as data. We also want to select the spreadsheet object so we don't have to select it again. We can pass it in as an object. And then we can also pass in the range value as well if needed. So that will give us a range. And when we are setting and updating content in a new sheet, we're going to need to know that range value. So that all gets passed in. And this is just content that we've already selected within the variables here. So we can pass that instead of having in the UI or you could keep the UI just for testing purposes so you can see what data has been selected. So selecting out and we're gonna count the number of sheets that we have and then create a brand new spreadsheet. So we're gonna get the sheets. So that's selecting all of the current sheets and that's gonna give us a number. We wanna create a new sheet. So let's give the sheet a name and the name will be, so it's expecting a string value. So here I'm just gonna concatenate the number of spreadsheets that we currently have and just get the length because this is going to be returned back with an array format. So that will give us a name of a sheet called sheet and then whatever name of the whatever number of length that we have for the sheets. And then we want to collect a new sheet and selecting the sheet. So we want to first check to see if the sheet exists. So select the sheet by name, and then this is where we can pass in the new sheet. So this is just in case that sheet already exists. Uh, we don't want to try to recreate it if it already exists. Uh, so we do a check and it says, uh, we check to see if the new sheet is equal to null. And if it is, then we know that we can use the new sheet and we can create a brand new spreadsheet from it. So here we can select the sheet object and use the insert sheet to insert a brand new sheet. And then the new sheet will now have whatever the new sheet is that we've just inserted. So we can set a name for that sheet and we're just gonna be using whatever we selected for the sheet name. So if the sheet does exist, so that's gonna be the second scenario that we have. So the second option there. So that's where we're gonna add in an else condition. And if the sheet exists, then we're gonna take the sheet and just clear the contents of the sheet. So that will clear out any existing content and allow us to add the new content that was just selected. So selecting and we need to select a new range and the range is going to be coming from the new sheet that we just created. So that's the new sheet that we're referencing. We want to get the range that we want to use. So starting at 1, 1, so top left hand corner, uh, starting in the first cell and then using the range from the previous sheet, we get the number of rows. So we need this in order to establish the range that we need to use. So it'll ask for number of rows that we want to use and copy. And then the second one is get the number of columns. This will allow us to create that brand new range. And then from the new range, we can populate it with the data by using the set values of the data and populating it in. So let's go ahead and we're gonna try that script out. And now whatever we select, we can go to advanced copy. It'll output what we're copying. And once we click, it'll click OK there, and it'll create a brand new sheet with the copied data. So that's our new sheet, sheet number 14. Let's try another example where we're selecting some content. It outputs it into the alert. So you can remove that once you're done testing. And there's our new content that's being copied over. So this is how you can select some content and copy it over into a brand new sheet. And this is all keeping the same data structure and passing in some values, including the range which you're going to need in order to populate and select that new range area.